Hello again, EDF friends. I wanted to cover uh, initial impressions of vehicles and uh, some information about them in this video. Um, this time around, Ranger and Air Raider both have access to vehicles, although they do have different vehicles. Um, as far as Ranger goes, um, in the first slot here, you can either take an auxiliary item to improve his performance, or you can take a, take a vehicle, which you cannot you cannot take both at the same time. You have to have one or the other. Um, as far as the vehicles Ranger can call out, um, under this column he can call out tanks, in this column he can call out helicopters, and this column is uh, motorcycles. Um, as far as more details about the tanks, um, he has access to um, he has access to the traditional railgun that you know about in uh, EDF 4.1 and 2025. Um, Air Raider does not have access to that uh, railgun this time around. He has a different kind of railgun, which I'll cover later. Um, he also has access to the EMC tank, which is the the tanks that shoot those large lightning bolt, like a one large beam that you've seen in uh, in certain missions. Um, he's the one that has access to it actually, so that's kind of cool. Um, it's very expensive, kind of like the Proteus and the um, the Titan. It's, it's kind of like expensive like that. Um, as far as other vehicles in this column, these are all rail guns. He does have access to, I think, a, uh, some tanks, but I don't have it unlocked on this game save. Um, as far as the helicopters go, he has access to the Brute helicopter, actually, this time around. I have not seen that on the Air Raider yet, and I have quite a few helicopters for him, so I think the Ranger is the one that has the Brute this time, which is the big three-passenger uh, helicopter from the past. He also has access to an auto-acquisition cannon helicopter, which is this one, and he has access to just the, um, the double machine gun and missile launcher ones as well. Um, as far as motorcycles go, I don't have a lot of motorcycles unlocked yet, as you can see, but uh, uh, they, they're pretty fast. They're, I'm still undecided about them yet. I think that the problem with them has been just being able to actually shoot enemies with them, because the gun seems to aim very, very straight along the ground, so a lot of times it's hitting the ground itself. But uh, as far as vehicles that have fuel, um, just helicopters have fuel, as you can see here, um, 25,000 fuel for this one, 350,000 fuel for this one. The ones, the brutes have more, um, more fuel because of how, how they move slower in the air. And then also motorcycles have, have fuel as well. But tanks do not, well everything else does not except those two as far as I know. And then let's go to Air Raider now. Now as far as vehicles he has access to, um, in this first column he has access to tanks and under the tanks he has access to um, the tanks that we've had in the past where it's uh, one explosive shot so like for the example this one it, the 105 as you can see down there in the description tells you that this is a tank and not a, a real gun so it has you know 25 shots of 245 damage and then 8 meter blast he has access to the Titan as well this time around and he has access to his own version of a railgun, which is, which is this one. Um, it, oh no, that, that's not the one. It's the A2. The A2 is the one that is the uh, the railgun. Um, it's it looks like a tank. It has the same shape and driving as a tank, but it shoots a um, a projectile that's not explosive, and it doesn't seem quite as accurate. But I'm still I'm still not sure 100% about that accuracy. But uh, I'm pretty sure it, it shoots through enemies as well. But that's his version of a railgun. I'm not sure. It's better because it's faster. Well, I will cover the. I will cover some of these in the video that proceeds here. I'm actually going to take them out and show a, a few of them. Um, but uh, he also has access to uh, what else here? This is another Titan. He has access to APCs as well, but that's not in this column. Okay, so that yeah, that's that's pretty much the tanks, railguns, and titans are in this column here. Um, is this an APC? I don't think so. Anyway, and then in this column here, he has access to healing vehicles still, so that's that's nice. Um, he has access to APC. Yeah, this is the APC column. Sorry, I don't speak Japanese if it's not obvious. <laughs> um, this is this is actually the. So he's access to, in this one, healing vehicles. This is a uh, Nagling. He has access to those. He has access to the MP APCs, as I was saying before. The ones that are explosive, as well as the ones that shoot like a rail shot almost. I don't think they penetrate their enemies, though. I'm not sure on that, though. There's another Nagling, and... 
I'm using the uh, descriptions to. Uh, it's once you once you play this game enough, you can kind of um, discern what each item is just based on either numbers or letters or something. So it's not too bad to learn. Once you like, this is a healing vehicle. I, I can tell because it has uh, 6,000 and then the 2.0, which is how much it heals per second, and three passengers and so forth. So that's this column. The next column is his helicopters. I only have three of them, but um, the only ones I've unlocked so far are the ones that are traditional where it's just two machine guns and missiles, or he has the three burst laser one, which I really like, has a good range and also has missiles. So um, that's, all I, that's all I know as far as helicopters for him. And I've been, like I said, this is, I've been playing this, I don't know, this particular game save has been like 50 hours, so. <laughs> Um, that's all I've had so far. Uh, as far as this column, let's see, what is this column? This column is Vigalta's. Uh, he has access to... There's a little different weapon setups on the Vigalta's, but pretty much the same Vigalta's that you know. There's some slow ones that, that have do a lot of damage. There's some faster ones that are more mobile, like the fire one and the the machine gun ones. But uh, like I said, I'll show some of these in the, in the uh, following section here after this. And then the last section he has access to is Depth Crawlers, which are these, and then he has access to a Proteus. So I just recently unlocked a Proteus, um, and that's all I have so far on this section. So, like I said, if there's anything new, if I had to guess, I would assume he has Balaams, but I don't have a Balaam unlocked yet on my character, so I'm not sure if it's Ranger or if it's Air Raider. But, uh, but yeah, now I'm going to uh, show a few of these vehicles in actual level and show how they've changed as far as controls and just how they've changed in general. Alright, first vehicle, vehicle I want to show is the EMC tank. Um, like I said, it's like a Proteus as far as how how expensive it is, but what they do with in this game for expensive vehicles is they start you off with a mission with like 60-70% of the vehicle already um, filled, the, the meter already filled, so that you can get it you know, relatively quickly, but, you know, if you want to get it again, it's going to take a really long time. Now, this thing moves slow like a Titan, but it shoots in thousand, uh, thousand ammo increments, so, like, that down there it shows 7,000 ammo. So if I start shooting this, it won't stop until it gets to 6,000. And, you know, of course, you can aim this while you're doing this, but, uh, it seems relatively strong. I, it's still early to tell that, but it has something has really good range. It's like it's very almost infinite range. But like I said, it won't stop until you um, until until it shoots a thousand. Even if you get out, like you can get out and it still shoot. So in a way, you could almost you know aim this at a large target like a ship or something that's not going to move, and then just get out and fire w as well. And you can kind of use that as a strategy, maybe a little bit. But yeah, this vehicle seems pretty decent, pretty fun to use for sure. Um, controls really slowly, but it's not bad, doesn't feel bad. Turns very slowly, of course. But yeah, that's the EMC tank. This is the railgun, which Ranger now has access to. Like I said, it's very, very traditional railgun that you know about before. It has the machine guns on the side and... 500 ammo, and then, of course, the railgun itself, 25 shots. So it's still a very good vehicle. But, uh, I wouldn't say... The only thing that initial pressure seemed like it, it, it costs a lot to call out, but it could just be I need upgrades, so I'm not sure about that 100%, but it's still a good vehicle, of course. Alright, on to the helicopters. I'm going to cover Air Raiders and Rangers helicopters in one thing here, because they both feel the same to me. I have driven the uh, Brute as well, and it still feels similar. It feels made a little bit faster than the old Brute, but it's still the same vehicle. Uh, as far as helicopters now, like I said before, they actually have fuel now, so that's definitely a big thing. I think they did that to keep people from abusing the helicopter, whereas before you could just fly in the air and just um, either drop air raids or drop bombs, and you really no threat. Um, there is some change to the helicopters. Uh, it feels like they've made them so that they turn smoother, which I can say that can goes for almost all the vehicles, honestly. Um, they don't, they're not as jumpy and as finicky to try and aim at. Um, so there is that positive. 
they haven't really changed the camera, unfortunately, so it's sometimes can be hard to see around you or down or something like that. It can be rough sometimes. But uh, the fuel, I don't know, it doesn't feel bad. I mean, there's there's quite a bit of fuel. They give you quite a bit of fuel, but as you can see, it's probably about 225 seconds, I would say, because it's counting down about 100 a second, it feels like. Maybe a little bit uh, more. So you have some time to use it, you know, to use the ammo. Uh, it feels like the ammo's been pretty much similar in the helicopters that I've seen so far, as far as how much they give you in the past. So, I think it can be a good thing. I think the, the thing I would like to have, like I said, is a, um, a uh, to lower your, your height would be something I would like. And also, I would like a camera, a better camera view, personally, to where you can look around with the camera, perhaps, but uh, maybe next time. But yeah, as you can see, that's I still have a, I have a decent amount of fuel. You you have you have enough fuel to to get done what you want to get done. I think for the most part, so it's not too bad. But yeah, that's the helicopters. All right, on to the motorcycles. Um, one thing I forgot to mention earlier, which is a big thing, is you don't start with your vehicles anymore. You have to um, earn them through kills. Usually, the bar is at half, or the bar. Like I said, on larger vehicles, will be at like 75%, but it'll take a long time to fill that up again once it gets uh, called out, which I think is a good idea. So it allows you to have, you know, big vehicles, but uh, as far as motorcycles go, they control really well. That's not the problem. Um, the problem is the shooting, the machine gun on these things is will shoot the ground a lot if you're not on, you know, going uphill or going in flat ground. Oh my goodness. And yeah, you can fall off them if you're not careful, but uh, I don't know how viable they'll be. It depends on what kind of weapons they have on them, but yeah, they do have fuel, which I think, once again, I think the reason is because this thing is so fast that they don't want to, you to abuse it, where you could just, you know, kite around enemies forever on this thing, but uh, I, like th I like the concept, I like the idea of them, but I don't see the purpose of them yet. There is some weapons, like there's they have, they have some decently strong weapons too, which is strange, because you, you can actually, you can kind of pull up, pull back on the stick to uh, aim up or upwards a little bit, but uh, it's very, it's very uh, difficult. As you can see, you can actually do a willy where you can fall off one of the two. But uh, also the health, it seems too low on these things. I would like to have them have more health, but uh, definitely a cool idea. I hope that there's some better ones later in the game that I get. Like if I could see them dropping mines or something, would be nice. But uh, yeah, I didn't use the brake there. I should use the brake. But there is a brake in reverse. Another thing that's been changed with the vehicles is um, some of the vehicles now will drive with uh, triggers instead of using your analog stick, which I also think makes it a little bit easier to um, aim or to drive. But, but yeah, those are the motorcycles. So far, I'm, I don't use them too often. There's really not. I rather have other vehicles, or actually the sprint. You know, the, the, he has the. You can improve his sprint as well to make him really fast as well. So. So that covers motorcycles. All right, on to railguns and tanks for the uh, air raider. Um, another thing I I forgot to mention was um you can't you can't throw the uh, beacon for the vehicle really far anymore. It's just a simple one button press and you can't charge it up so that's another thing you only can throw it about I don't know 10 meters in front of you now this is uh, Air Raiders new railgun it also controls like the tank so I'm not gonna really cover the tank but it's nice because it's fast and it, and it uh, moves fast and it controls nicely but uh, like I said they did they did adjust this is I'm turning as fast as I can this is how they've they made the aiming better in the fact that it's not so jumpy it used to be so jumpy so this is a railgun. It shoots pretty straight. It doesn't feel quite as accurate as the railgun, but it still gets the job done. It does the same, you know, same thing of what you would want to take down, you know, airships or whatever else. But uh, yeah, I'm, sh I'm not sure why they made that change. But I mean, that's, it doesn't doesn't really bother me. Like I said, it controls better, so that's that's a good thing. And you still you get more shots though out of it, so that's nice. 
but as far as the damage, I'm not sure how it'll compare to the railgun yet. It's too early to tell, but it is nice having something that's fast. But like as far as accuracy, it feels a little bit less accurate than a railgun, so there is that. But if you're doing like really far, you know, far precision shots, it seems like it. It'll some you know it feels like it'll land relatively where you're aiming, but not a hundred percent like the railgun, which railgun always seems like it hit which where you're aiming at. So yeah, that one I'm not sure what happened there because it was not it didn't shoot where I aimed at all. Like that one too, yeah, it went far right. So so yeah, it's a little bit less accurate, but still a good vehicle nonetheless. It does shoot through enemies. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty good. Let me uh, use it over here really quickly. It's a lot of enemies on this mission. That lightning is hard to see through. Oops, that was a bad shot. But yeah, I don't mind it. It's an okay vehicle. And like I said, the tanks control the same, so I don't I really don't need to show the tanks. It's the same idea where they slow down the aiming and it feels a lot better. It seems to traverse uh, broken down buildings a little bit better as well than before. It used to be all jumping all over the place before. So that's tanks. Alright, on to the Titan. There was one big change for the Titan which was a needed change. Um, still expensive to call out, but now the big cannon up front actually shoots straight and it shoots fast. It's no longer a slow projectile, so it's actually more useful. And also it seems as if the projectile does not kick it to the side, but it just kicks it straight back. So let me take a shot over here. And as you can see, it shoots pretty straight and fast, so you actually can use this thing now and actually hit your target, so it won't be moved when it finally gets there. And it just doesn't, it doesn't seem to kick as much, which is great. Um, the side guns still feel the same, the front gun still feels the same, there's only 10 shots, and, you know, there's just various, you know, different side weapons. Unfortunately, the aiming's still the same on the side guns, so it doesn't really, it's hard a little bit, a little bit hard to aim. You have a laser, of course, but, uh, a little bit hard to see sometimes when you're trying to aim up or down, especially when you have an arcing, you know, grenade. But, uh, but yeah, that's one big change I would say for the Titan. Not, not, it didn't really need too much to change except that one, you know, the kickback and the shot. So that's a good thing. Still has a lot of health, and it's crazy collecting items. As you can see, it's huge, huge ring. So, <laughs> kind of cool. But yeah, so that's the Titan. Alright, on to the APC. I did cover this already in our video, but I'll cover it briefly here. The APC is really good um, as far as how it controls now. It's not as jumpy, it doesn't flip as much, It's it, it controls really well. It also lets you spin it around quite a bit. You only can not reach about 30 degrees in the back of you, but you can do everything other everything in front of you. And you also can aim it pretty high, so you can take out uh, dropships with it pretty well as well. So that's very nice vehicle. I really like it. I'm, I'm not sure when you would actually transport people in the back of it, but it does have that option. But uh, it still has the same idea where it has, you know, a uh, has like a cannon like this, and it also has explosive mortar shots as well. You do have to use your triggers and your bumper to actually go forward and backwards now instead of using your analog stick as well. So it's L2 to uh, accelerate and and. Uh, L1 to uh, break and go in reverse. So, so yeah, that's the APC. I like it. It's pretty good. All right, on to Vagaltas. As far as Vagaltas go, they almost feel, or may I, I may even say, they feel 100% the same as before. They look different, of course, but they seem to uh, perform the same. The only thing I was hoping for them was to be able to uh, turn or strafe midair, or even strafe at all. 
But now you still have to actually turn your body around to where you want to move, and then you can move forward. So, like I said, there's still the slow ones, there's still the medium fast, the medium ones, the fast ones. Um, it's still, you know, fast to do the hopping motion. But the only problem is, like I said, if you need to turn, you have to stop and then turn around and then move forward. So, I would have liked to see them put it in some kind of strafing, but uh, it's not a huge deal. But yeah, like I said, they feel almost the same. <laughs> so that's Pagultas. Alright, last of all I want to show off the Depth Crawler. And there's good news for Depth Crawler. Um, I didn't cover Proteus, I didn't cover some helicopters, Brute, the Ambulance. Those, um, those feel the same to me. There's not really much to uh, show off on those. Um, they do look different, different but uh, other than that they feel the same. Uh, like I said, good news for Death Crawler lovers. Um, this time around, they've given you a lot more health, so that's good. You can actually use them. I've actually used them quite a bit um, above ground because of how quickly you can call them and also their health increase. Um, the weapons feel the same. Um, I've, I've found, you know, the ones with the rockets. I found the ones with the flamethrower, the shotgun, machine gun, the um, and also the... Uh, the sniper cannons, which are really good, so I really, I'm really liking them. They seem to have more ammo as well. I'm, I'm not 100% sure on that, but it just feels like the couple felt like they had a lot of ammo, and I didn't run out too often. But also, the controls are better. As you can see, I'm not swinging the camera around crazy like a crazy madman. I can't control it. So they they slowed down the aiming in all vehicles, including this. So it makes it a lot easier to use. Unfortunately, I mean, they're faster. They have some faster ones, but unfortunately, they're still, I think, still too slow. Especially underground, where most people are rushing ahead, and you, you can barely get there in time. Um, you still have the side dash, you know, but also, unfortunately, the camera is still the same. Um, when you walk up a wall, it's still very awkward and difficult to know where you're at, and uh, being able to control in opposite directions and all that is still, unfortunately, in here, so that's too bad. I was hoping the camera would have just followed, followed the depth crawler so that even though you're upside down, you're still viewing the depth crawler on the bottom of your screen. I think that would be the best way to fix it, but that's just my opinion. Um, but yeah, I'm really enjoying the depth crawler, so that's good. One negative still, the depth crawler is when you're walking on ground, the aiming is very jumpy. I wish they would have made it so that the aiming would stay stable while you're walking. So, <laughs> a little bit difficult to use sometimes when you're when you're moving or running away, but uh, still very good vehicle. Or now, or still now, it is a bit good vehicle, and it's useful above ground as well as below ground. So that's cool. And as far as what you can call out underground, it's still the same. Where you can call out motorcycles and you can call out uh, the depth crawler. So that's remained the same as well. But I don't know if Air Raider has motorcycles, honestly. I think it's just it was Ranger now, so. But yeah, that'll cover all the vehicles here that I wanted to show off. Um, thanks a lot for watching, and uh, like I said, if there's any changes or anything new that I discover in the future, I will make some updates or another video. But I just want to give at least initial impressions of vehicles in this video. Uh, thanks a lot for watching.